privacy and privacy. Let's look at the role of statistics in research. One way to understand about the role of statistics in research is to look at what we do in research. We identify an area of interest or a problem statement. From that area of interest or problem statement, we then identify a specific question or a problem that we want to look at. Then we inform ourselves with what has happened, what, what was found in relation to our research question. And we grasp the theory, which is the mega mental note in relation to our problem area and research question. And from that, we state a real life statement a guess about what's going to happen in our findings. And based on that hypothesis, we identify variables, what's going to change in relation to our input and output. And we observe them and collect information about those variables an aspect of that variable. When we collect information or data, we collect them as numbers and use these numbers to test our hypothesis. And based on our findings and testing, we inform the hypothesis and the theory. So the first thing about statistics in research is we use numbers because numbers make it objective, scientific, and we can test. And later on, such testing could be undertaken by others and then improve what we have found or falsify what we have found as things keep changing in real world and therefore we can advance our knowledge. If you look at from a, a real life situation, the problem area could be about leadership and inefficient organization. But our specific question is about whether narcissistic personality leaders can turn around inefficient organization. Let's say we came up with a theory contingency theory which says there's no single psychological profile access for leadership. And we state real life statements to test it out in relation to our specific question, which is narcissistic personality leaders and inefficient organization, but real life loss making organization and profit making organizations and based on our real life statement or hypothesis, we now develop variables. Our variables are leader personality and the profitability. And we measure leader personality using a questionnaire. We get the questionnaire scores from the question items. And then we measure profitability using return on equity. And we look at uh, the relationship between these two to test our hypothesis and accordingly we inform the hypothesis and the theory. We can, when we test what we did was, we did a hypothesis testing. So the second thing about role of research in statistics, role of statistics in research is that we use statistics to test hypotheses. So we use numbers and we test hypotheses using statistics. There are two ways to do this testing. One is to describe our testing and present our findings. The second is to infer or analyze 
our findings, our testing and findings. When we describe, we can put it in a graph and show, and it's visually appealing, and we can grasp that information, but it doesn't give us to what extent our findings are accurate. For that, we use inferential or analytical statistics or testing, and based on that, we can state to what extent we are confident about our findings. To we can express as a probability 0 0.9, 0 0.95, or 0 0.99. As a percentage, we can say 95, 90% 90 probable our findings are correct, 95% probable our findings are correct, or 99% probable our findings are correct. So we use statistics in research. First, a condition is that we must have numbers. We measure our phenomenon using numbers and we use the numbers to test our hypothesis or educated guess. When we test, we can use descriptions to present our findings or we can analyze our findings, inferential or analytical testing and state to what extent we are confident about the findings. <music>